Steve Harvey, I'm coming for your ass. Yeah, Steve Harvey. I know you watched this. You're probably doing a radio show mad about what the Reverend said last Sunday. And you know what? He was out of line. <laughs> what up? It's Fat Tony, and this is Thrift Talk, a competitive fashion show where two contestants compete to see who can style it best on a budget. Today's episode, Hot Neighbor. Our contestants will be competing to see who can dress like the hottest neighbor on the block. Contestant number one, comedian Langston Kerman. Hey, 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 yeah. Oh, oh man. Cool. Your personality doesn't match your looks, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jack Knight, AKA Cornelius, the lime lemon god. Lemon lime, lemon lime god. god. There you go. You Do your it. job, fat Joe. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? What you got on? And do you f with thrifting? I don't f with thrifting. I have anxiety. Jack Knight, can you tell us about Thugger Thugger? Thugger Thugger? We're talking about the hottest neighbor on the block. I'm only here to dress like Thug. That's my goal, that's my mentality, and that's how I'm gonna win. Can you believe that's the body of a man with eight kids? <laughs> <laughs> Our contestants will go head to head for three rounds. First up, a physical challenge. Next, a competitive shopping spree. And third, a fashion show. Guest judge Zainab Johnson and I will pick the winner. I'm judging y'all. What makes a hot neighbor? Not calling the police. If it's a guy that's a hot neighbor, um, somebody who's surely not gonna be evicted. And if it's a woman? I can I describe myself. Bold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at it, but bold, bold, bold. I feel like if I asked you guys the same exact question, y'all would've been like, booty shorts. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, yeah. it depends on the booty. I would melt if I had a hot neighbor. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'd just stand outside the peephole just waiting for it to come. I can't handle that, no. Nope. They've all been ugly, just like I deserve. You guys have any uh, strategy for shopping for your hot neighbor look? If I'm gonna be a hot neighbor, I wanna like bring bright fluorescent colors to the neighborhood. And after seeing what the judge likes, I'm gonna go for that thought stuff. <laughs> My strategy is uh, to have as much... Uh... If you say fun, I swear to God, I'm gonna go home. Well, I'll tell you this, I don't wanna have fun. <laughs> we got some shit at stake. The winner gets to pick an outfit for the loser to wear post to their Instagram, which can never be deleted, and they gotta wear it in real life to hit on one of their own neighbors. How do you guys feel about that? I feel great. Langston has more Instagram followers, so it's gonna mean more to him. Goddamn those guest roles, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Each of you begin with two minutes on your clock to shop. If you want a little more time, you gotta compete in our physical challenge. You down for it? This is gonna be fun, y'all. First up, the physical challenge. You guys got a neighbor. You need some sugar. Mm -hmm. I need you to deliver to the camera your best speech to acquire sugar from your neighbor. Zainab, you judge who is the suavest, who's the most charming, who's gonna get that sugar. Okay. Jack Knight, you're up first. <laughs> hey, you're so sweet. You're always sweet to me. You're sweet to everybody around me. I know you have a lot of extra sweetness on you. Yeah, I bought some sugar off you. Sugar. I want to point out that he did, <laughs> <laughs> he did finger guns at the end, and that should be, that's got to be points off. Cut? He didn't have to do that. Go. Oh, it's yeah. my turn? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hey girl, <laughs> how you doing? You know what I enjoy? Sugar. You got some? I'll let it play. Sugar. He has a committed girlfriend. Yeah. She gonna cheer you when she sees this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm, nah, no, new <laughs> <laughs> Jack had the finger guns. You said holla at a player. I haven't heard that since 2002. I like how you ain't noticed, but your hand was shaky. Like, I don't even believe in myself. Bro was so nervous. Oh, I needed this sugar. I like to think that I'm asking for sugar because there's kidnappers in my apartment who desperately want to put some in their Cheerios. And that's why you're nervous and shaking, because ISIS needs sugar? But you said, you know what I like. No, we were just neighbors. I have no idea what you like. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Jack. What? Here's why. He gave the neighbor so many compliments before he asked for anything. And he was like, you sweet, you always sweet, you got sweetness on you, can I borrow a little bit of that? You was like, it was about you. Oh my God. I was a hoe for a long time. <laughs> Jack Knight, you win it. You get 30 ah, seconds added to your ah, clock. Yeah. You're gonna shop with two minutes, 30 seconds. Langston, you'll be shopping with two minutes on your clock. Jack Knight, as the winner of round one, you get to decide. Do you want to go out there first and shop, or do you want to send Langston out there? Langston goes first. Round two, shopping spree. My strategy for today is to buy in bulk. I'm treating this shit like Costco. I am picking up everything I can and assuming that I am preparing for the apocalypse. We got Langston up first. Langston, you're gonna be judged by your creativity, your overall look, and adherence to the theme of being the hottest neighbor on the block. You got two minutes, you ready? I'm ready, Fat Tony. I'm ready, Fat Tony. <laughs> All right, Langston, believe in yourself. Remember, this is what we trained for, and this is your chance. Let's do it, buddy. Ready, ready set, go! Oh, yeah! 
shit. <laughs> oh, I'm what getting, is wrong with getting him? ready for prom. <laughs> but why he shimmying? You gotta go corduroy, playboy, and get both of those. Okay, damn, that's a lot. Woo. I'm gonna look good. Makes him look like a stepdad before Christmas. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, those are pants. Watch out, playboy. A minute and 15 seconds. You damn right I got a minute and 15 seconds. Don't forget you need shoes. No, I don't need no damn shoes. He got six vests already. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's gonna look good on your boy. We got a lot of shirts. We need one outfit. Uh-huh. But does he have on heelys? Why do he keep sliding on him? He just has greasy-ass body. <laughs> I'm gonna get the rain boots. I think Lance is going for quantity over quality right now. Can never be too classy. He's just picking up shit. He doesn't really have any vision. It's kind of like his act. <laughs> now to accessorize. No. 10 Can seconds. Pick up a rug? 10, no. 9, 8, eight 7, eight, 6, eight, 5, eight, 4, eight, 3, nine, 2, 1. But what you gonna do with that rug, though? <laughs> I couldn't be prouder of my performance today. I got a welcome mat. Technically, it's a bathroom mat. What do you think about Langston? I think he got a lot of shit he don't need. I've never been to a neighbor's house and was like, hey, you got an extra rug. Did I get multiple pairs of track pants? You goddamn right I did. Galoshes, water breaks, I'm in there. I look like a size four in kids, though. <laughs> I got multiple vests, cool sunglasses, spectacles. Oh, these are prescription. Good, good, good. The worst thing you should ever wear is somebody else's prescribed glasses. They're like heavily prescribed. <laughs> Who comes to Goodwill and just like, nah, I don't know how to see. <laughs> <laughs> these are my pants, a tie. It's never too hot for corduroy. This is actually my pride right here. Gold on the trim? Come on now. These nice shoes, they curl up at the tip, so you know they're good. I got glasses so that I can entertain my guests. I can't get it all the way out on account of all the other things, but it's a prom vest. Somebody bought a prom vest and then returned it to Goodwill. That's exciting. They had a bad prom. I got a mother spatula. The game is locked in. Jack's a bitch. I can't wait. Whoa! Woo. Jack's a bitch. I can't wait. Wow. Yeah. That's allowed? That's not a five yard penalty? No, that was after the spatula, too. Imagine if a calls you a bitch with a spatula in his hand. It only happened to me once at Fat Burger. What you want? Oh, damn. Double double. That's in and out. I know, commenter. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know why it's important to be the hottest neighbor on your block? because that's all that matters in this earth. People try and make it about personality or what you know. Nah, it's about if you look good. Langston has no taste. Langston has no class. So the strategy here today is to win. I lost 30 seconds in the competition, but I am about to sabotage Jack Knight. I'm gonna dress up like one of the locals. Hence, cowboy hat and sunglasses. Yes, we're in California. No, I don't know what the locals dress like. I'm gonna do whatever I can to win this competition because it means the world to me. And also, I have nothing else going on in my life. We got Jack Knight up next with two minutes and 30 seconds on his clock. Ready, Ready set, go! go. Yeah. <laughs> And I do expect a bit more from you, Jack, because you do have 30 seconds. He really taking his time. This is the problem with the youth today. People like Langston, they try and speed through things. They don't really take their time with people. Jack walking around like a, a senior citizen. There you go. I got some yeah. shoes, okay. Jack is shopping like he's at the Bloomingdale's. <laughs> okay, we got a customer putting shit in his cart. You can't just have randos running. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think he wants that. See, they go low, and I go Michelle Obama. <laughs> Jack has no clothes in his bag. <laughs> He's an idiot. I've said it from the beginning, his brain isn't good, and this is completely reflective of that. He's gonna pretend to take his time, and then he's gonna realize, oh, I literally have nothing. He doesn't even remember what the theme of the show is, I guarantee it. Jack, what's the theme? Yo mama. See, he thinks it's my mama. Jack, you have one minute left. Picking up a lot of women's clothes. He got a nighty. <laughs> I saw him put a nighty in there. Okay, I'm done. He's done. <laughs> you have 30 seconds left. I'm done. I don't need it. <laughs> the boy ain't got no pants. You saw what Langston did earlier in the show. All he did was run around and pick up <laughs> and throw it in the basket. He just kind of flies around like a little silly willy boy. Me, I only go for the drip. Because I already know whatever I put on, it's going to look good on me. Take you to the box. Wait, before you start, can we mention that you said silly willy boy? <laughs> it's right here. 
nice little fish tank. Look at this drip right here. This is that Quavo original. I'm actually gonna either choose between the two. I haven't really chose yet, but one of these two are really gonna really pop on me. Is Jack trying to be a first lady? The first lady is stealing your <laughs> This has brought me back, man. I used to be in the Boys and Girls Club. I used to hoop. I used to wear number 14. This hit a chord with me. And these pants? I didn't even know he had pants. Well, we kept saying he had no bottoms, but then he brought out the one bottom, and they're phenomenal. Look at that, Miami Paisley. Capri. There's no way you fit those pants. You don't know what a skinny <laughs> can do, dog. <laughs> and these, somebody really wanted to be a part of this shoot, so they gave it to me for free. So now I put them in this cart. This right here, this, this is just something for my girl, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here for my baby. I love you. I just can't get something for my girl. I gotta get something for my mama, too. <laughs> mama, I love you. It's here for my stepdad. I love his stepdad. <laughs> what you're seeing here is a, is a beautiful color palette. People don't appreciate dark skin like they really should. I feel like if Jack is my neighbor, we are on our way to being really fast friends. That's a very different response than you had to my card. <laughs> well, Say something negative. It's so hard to be critical when he picked up stuff for his mom and his girlfriend. That's not the game. That's and not the game. He took it straight from like the Golden Girls collection. I mean, even the pants. I, I want to try them on myself. Fat Tony, talk some sense into her, because I'm done. I think it's about time we move on to round three. <laughs> Let's get to the fashion show and see how these boys wear this shit. Yeah, that's what's key. It doesn't matter what you have, it's how it looks on you. Round three, the fashion show. First up, Langston Kerman, show your ass. Oh, hello. Oh! Makes it look like he about to think it's not unusual. <laughs> Y'all thought I had too many options, but nope, I didn't. I dressed for work and after work. Oh, wow. And a little sip. Ooh. I'm not gonna put my mouth on it on account of disease. Well, is your chest normally shiny and hairless, or is that something that you did in the dressing That's room? That's what the Lord gave me. <laughs> Wow. Soak it in, y'all. Come on now. What would you put in that glass if you had a choice? Grape juice. Or some more adult. Whatever y'all like. I'm a neighbor. I like to help out. Whatever you need. I got it. Uh-huh. Can you tell us about the tie? Why'd you go with this one? I like to give you the vibe that, you know, I had a hard day at work. You know I have a job. Good neighbor. You ain't got to worry about people kicking in your door, worrying about a bunch of crazy nonsense, selling drugs. No, no, no. I am a busy Miami worker, man. <laughs> And that's what that tie tells you. I had a hard day, but I'm not too busy to spend some time with you. Mmm, now the eyeglasses. You have them in your pocket. Do you not need it? Or? They're reading glasses. Sometimes I need to read. Now, if you need me to look over some documents, I can help. Yeah, he's got everything. How about the shoes? Uh, why'd you go with those? Well, they were the only option I picked. I coordinated. I see. Even in the tie, I noticed that the color is I tied see. in. Yeah. You pick options, so you have options. He had one pair of pants. If they don't end up right, He's done. It's an ably outfit right there. What can I say? I mean, you look good. Damn right. You look like you quit your job and are still on vacation. There you go. I got, I'm going for a real Jimmy Buffett vibe. Yeah. This is it. Langston, you look like if they brought back Weekends at Bernie's for BET, you would be the uh, star. <laughs> I am Bernie. <laughs> it's my weekend. Thank you, Langston Kerman. Come on, Jack. Get your chocolate ass out here. Hey, we got Quavo mixed with Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, that's exactly what he's giving us. Jack Knight, can we get a little walk? Of course. Music! What I wanted to do with this piece was inspire. I wanted to show the world that you can be yourself and also somebody else at the same time. This is all just an illusion. This is all a void. Y'all pretend that this makes sense. Me, I am the is. I ain't the the. It's like you gain some points and then you lose some <laughs> points. Because I want Langston to be able to keep up. Okay. The jacket on top of the basketball jersey is to show my youth, but also show my maturity. I like that the jersey tucked in. Oh, yeah, tucked in, you gotta be nice. The color palette, top to bottom, fire. Let's start with the shoes. You see little sparkles, little shine, shine on the top of that? It's for the hose. But I knew I was gonna wear a colorful piece today, so I put on these socks. These are my own original socks. The pants, I mean, see them. They see them. We all see what's happening. And the pink is just for fun. I feel like the house version of Bad and Bougie should be playing right now. <laughs> if this is the picture that goes on Instagram, you're going to get thousands of likes. Put it up there, there. Make me shine. I'm ready to fly. I was born for this. What's bigger than all of this is the confidence. I mean, the it don't matter what he's wearing. The drip was always going to be there. And earlier, he had the uh, Young Thug shirt on. He, he, he really came with a thug-inspired outfit. Only thing that I don't know how this helps his neighbor. In the world of, like, fashion and just, like, discovery and being yourself, 10. But in terms of, like, hot neighbor... 
you got a really confident neighbor. Okay. I come to game night, I bring things. Okay. I don't ever come to no barbecue without some meat. I don't ever come to no bachelor party without some <laughs> I don't ever go nowhere without something. I bring, I always add, I don't subtract from the world. I guess there's the answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no neighbor outfit. Oh my God. That's what you wore? I already won, this is dumb. You both look like you haven't had jobs in years. But they were pretty good jobs when we had them. Jack never had a good job. <laughs> no, but I lived the f out the 80s. All right, so we're judging on their creativity, their adherence to the theme, and their overall look. Jack's outfit, Langston's outfit. Imagine they were your neighbor. How would the outfits make you feel? This is hard. I love the creativity that Jack brought. Mm -hmm. I feel like Langston brought some hella creative shit too. With yeah, Langston had every shade of pink you can have. I feel like he really stuck with the theme the best. Okay. Coming with the glass for like a party, even in his whole speech about it, he kept going neighbor this, neighbor, neighbor this, that. neighbor that. Okay. Jax was really all about himself. Langston looks like he pops up and leaves with everything. He came with an empty wine bottle and he's coming to my house to fill it up. He seems like he takes. Mm. Jack don't seem like he bring anything either, <laughs> and what he brings you don't even want, but at least he'll be like the talk of the party. Everybody's gonna be like, yo. Did you see what he's wearing? You know what, Langston's whole uh, savvy businessman shtick kind of gave me a uh, con man vibe. Yes, 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 yes. Don't want that in my house. Yes. I like how Jack's outfit touched on different themes. He had the Quavo pants, mm -hmm. he had the basketball jersey, you mm -hmm. know, he was reflecting on his past and his present. I love the, the bandana shit, the little Jimi Hendrix shit, mm -hmm. very cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a tough one. If you had to pick, who would be the winner? But keep in mind, the loser has to wear an outfit that's picked by the winner to put on their Instagram and they gotta actually hit on their real life hot neighbor in the outfit. All right. Can we get the contestants to the floor? Guys, it took us a while, but we came to a decision. We Thank love you. both of y'all outfits. The best, There's only one winner, Jack Knight. What? It's not the winner. It's what? the next yeah. yeah. Langston, we're gonna need you to pick an outfit for Jack Knight that he's gonna hit on his real life neighbor in. My little memory foam, you're gonna carry that like a briefcase. You're going full Hillary this time. <laughs> but you're a magician underneath. And you know what? Because I'm a friend, you wear this however you want. Hang it out your crotch for all I care, because you a loser. You had a whole lot of confidence before. You know, sometimes you come out the house and you, you lose even though you should have win. I am proud to be a not a good enough neighbor. <laughs> Big shout out to Jack Langston and Zainab for rocking with us today. What should the next episode be about? A, BDE, Big Energy. B, Dot Topic, AKA Sexy Instagoth. C, broke on the red carpet, or D, delivering Postmates to Rihanna's house. Yo, who is this? We thought you knew him. Doesn't <laughs> look good like you. <laughs> what can I say, bro? I just look young. Yeah, you How old are you? How many times I have to tell you, little brother? I'm shopping. <laughs> He's shopping. He's shopping. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a nice shirt, man. Yeah, that's Make good. me look cool. That, yeah. that might be the one for you. That's right. She even looking at me. Is she really? Hell yeah. yeah. Sure looks good, girl. <laughs> oh, boy. He signed that whole release form just, just to say that to me. <laughs> I'm shopping. <laughs>